Former President Goodluck Jonathan on Tuesday told President Bola Tinubu's administration to build a democracy that will reduce frictions after elections, describing the avalanche of litigation that follows election in the country as embarrassing. The former president also warned that democracy that is built on ethnicity and religion does not endure. Speaking as the chairman of the Democracy Day public lecture with the theme 25 years of enduring democracy prospects for the future at the old banquet hall presidential villa Abuja, the former president noted that in the last 25 years Nigeria has built an economy that was once the biggest economy in Niger in Africa. The turn of democracy in 1999, after many years of military reign, signaled a new phase in our national journey and our shared vision of unity, peace, and progress. In the last 25 years, we have made modest progress in this regard and made some challenges. As a nation, we built an economy that was once the biggest in Africa, in the African continent. We experienced significant infrastructural growth, made strides in the arts and sports, and recorded many peaceful political transitions at the national and subnational levels. Democracy has also brought about improved access to governance, amplified silent voices, and reinforced the idea of sovereignty. Whenever I tune to Nigerian station, television stations, especially in the morning, and I see young men and women discussing and interrogating social issues and holding government accountable, I always appreciate democracy. Jonathan, who emphasized the need to strengthen state institutions in order to strengthen democracy, condemned what he described as politics where the winner takes all, saying that is not healthy in democratic system. The former president advised the National Assembly to look at governance model that can suit the country in order for the people to benefit from the needed dividends. We must work together despite our political differences, accommodate our diversity, and prioritize policies that will impact the lives of our citizens. As we project towards celebrating a golden jubilee of our uninterrupted democracy, which I believe we will, we are celebrating 25 years, we will also celebrate the golden jubilee. It is imperative to state that we need to work assiduously towards further strengthening state institutions so that they can withstand the shocks that threaten democratic governance. Democracy as a form of government is anchored on sets of promises in line with the nation's development and growth aspirations. The fulfillment of these promises reinforces the citizens' trust and faith in the government. As we celebrate 25 years of unbroken democracy, we look to the future with the hope that democracy has come to stay and that democracy will continue to take firm roots in our nation.